Hi everyone, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so um, we are dressed up you. in our Christmas pajamas, yeah. of course. Yeah. And Well and Roby are candy canes. Don't mind Well's hair. She kept running off and wouldn't let me do her hair. And I'm half elf and half Santa because my pants are Santa pants. Anyway, um, I'm going to be doing like a lesson along today and we're going to be using kindergarten math with confidence. So yeah, we're just gonna do one of the lessons and I just wanted to show you guys um, how it is. So there are some videos already doing walkthroughs of um, this math curriculum. So I'm going to link those videos in the description, but I haven't seen any that are doing like a little lesson along. Um, I did see one for, the level one so i was like you know what i'm gonna do one for the kindergarten and i figured i can do this one now and then when we get further along when we're like almost done with it we'll do another one so you guys can come along with us today <laughs> okay so this is the curriculum um kindergarten math with confidence by kate snow so, like I said, I'm just going to link in the description the uh, people who did walkthroughs of this. I'm just going to flip to the lessons that were on. This is the teacher's book, the instructor's guide, and this is the student workbook. So, I'm going to show you that too. So, we're on week nine, and the weeks are divided into four. So, this week was all about directions. So, it says give directions from moving left, right, forward, and backwards, and also above, below, left, and right, and ordinal numbers. So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, to describe positions of objects. So um, lesson one is for the week is follow directions, then the second lesson gives directions, the third is pattern block positions, and the fourth is ordinal number. So we're doing the fourth one right now. And here it just gives you like a little information on ordinal versus cardinal numbers. And um, that's what we're going over in this lesson. And you know, it does tell you like your child does not need to know those terms, but it's just giving you the teacher that. And it tells you the household items that you're gonna need for the week. And weaving math into everyday life. Sorry if you hear Noelle singing, um, but it's as you turn while walking or driving this week, ask your child to identify whether you're turning left or right. So we have been doing that. And you would think like, oh, it's just left and it's just right, but it's actually hard for kids. Like we've been going over this for a while, even before we started this curriculum and she still gets confused. So that's okay. And then each week it has a book. So this book is Left, Right, Emma and it tells you a little information about it and it gives you like a little activity after you read the book tie a red string around your child's right wrist to remind her which hand is right throughout the day periodically ask your child which hand is the right one and which one is the left one so this here is the book left to right emma by Stuart j murphy and on the back here it says cognitive skills knowing left and right and I don't know if she knows to be a dog or what, but this is what the book looks like. And they usually suggest to read the book on the fourth day um, of the week. So I like to read it all throughout the week, but um, you can just read it one day a week or whatever you want to do or, or you know for the whole month really <laughs> so we already did you know all of these other lessons so i'm just gonna flip to lesson four which is the lesson that we're on so here sorry here ordinal numbers um has a little warm-up practice identifying written numerals practice identifying left and right so she does know the written numbers but um i have the cards so i'll get them when we're doing the lesson but i'm just going to use it to practice the left and right so here it'll say like um touch number eight with your left hand and then touch the forward with your right hand and give five more similar directions to your child so always specify which hand your child should use to touch each number so 
we're gonna be doing, you know, that. And then it has an activity and then the workbook page. So here is the activity. It basically says to get like a book to create your own slide, but we have a Minnie Mouse like game thing. I'm gonna show you guys and it already comes with a slide so we're just going to use that but it gives you option to set up your own slide and everything and to line up the animals so that you have first second third fourth and fifth and you know they're going to take their turn going down the slide so that's um one part of the activity and then another part here is um you know first touch your nose second blink your eyes third clap your hands so basically it's just using interactive ways to teach them something instead of it just being like oh here's um you know the activity and the workbook and that's it but it's trying to show you you know through play and uh stuff like that so it does have workbook activity though <laughs> but um here's the workbook activity it talks about page 36 so this is the workbook and if we go to page 36 so here they're to trace these numbers and then they're gonna see how many fingers and then write the numbers there and that's it this is it's only one page a day for their workbook activities and then this is next week which is going to go over patterns so here the teacher's manual does have the answers to the workbook pages for the week um if you need it okay so here is what i was talking about the little mini mouse ice cream parlor that we've had for like a couple of years it was um a present that my mother got to them well got it was before we even had noelle so anyway you see it has a slide <laughs> so we're gonna use that i have some like little cars here from like the grocery store they're like a dollar these cars so we're gonna use these and then i have some of their little figurines so we have blue we don't watch blue schools anymore but you know we watch like the first season <laughs> and um this is sisu moana pinocchio simba and luca so we're gonna use those and i had a few more but noelle took them so i'm just going to you know tell them tell roby and yeah Okay, so um, we use numbers hey. like first, second, and third to describe where Death. the ant, where the Death. figures are in the line, right? So let's line them up. Okay, Noah, you want to hold blue? Okay, can you move over a little bit? So just just move your feet a little bit. Okay, so we have this Pinocchio is first, Sisu is second, Moana is third. Anna is fourth and Luca is fifth, right? Okay, can you try it? Can you, what is he? He's first. first. So say first. first. Okay, touch, touch and say first. first. Okay, now what's she? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fourth. Mm -hmm. fourth. Fifth. Good job. So we're going to have them wait in line and then they're going to go up here and go down the yeah, slide, yeah. okay? So we got to do the first one, second, third, fourth, and fifth to go down the slide, okay? Okay, now which one's second? You're going to put him for second? Okay, fine. Now this, this one. So what's she? She's, if he's first, Second, then that one is third. Good job. <gasps> okay, now look. First, second, third, fourth. Good job. <laughs> okay, so now look. So he's first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Fifth. Good job.
hands, your right hand. Can you lift your right hand up? Good. And your left hand? Okay, so I'm gonna point to one, I'm gonna say one of the numbers and you gotta touch it with either your right hand or your left hand, okay? Okay, so can you, with your right hand, touch number four? Good job. Okay, now with your left hand, can you touch number six? Good. Okay, with your right hand, can you touch number 10? Good. And with your right hand, can you touch number one? Good. And with your left hand, can you touch number two? Yeah. Nope, that's your right hand, so you have to use your left hand. Yeah, good. Okay, with your left hand, can you touch number seven? Good job. Okay, one more. With your left hand, can you touch zero? Good job. Yay. <laughs> she did go ahead and trace um, those numbers. I don't think it was recording, sorry about that. Okay, so how many fingers are up here? One, two, three, four. Here you go. Okay, so remember, if you just have one hand, you already have five fingers on your hand, right? Mm -hmm. So you know this one is five, so let's count from five. You ready? So this is five. No, what number comes after five? Six. Good, so six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, good job. So can you write ten here? Right here. Okay, good job. So now look here. So this is already five because you have five fingers, right? Mm -hmm. So let's count after five. What number comes next? So five. Four. What number comes after five? Six. Good. So go ahead. So five. Six. Seven. Good. So can you write seven right here? Go ahead. Line down. Good job. Okay, so now look at this one here. This one is five, right? So you already know it's five fingers. So let's count after five. Six, seven, eight. Good. So can you write eight here? You can do little circle and then big circle right here. Okay, let's try to write a little bit better. Write the little the little circle a little bit bigger. So let's erase it first. And then do a big circle. So say how many is that? Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good, so can you go ahead and write nine right here? Yeah. Okay, good job. you the lesson was actually very quick um i don't know how many minutes it was to be honest with you i think it was like 10 minutes or maybe less than that i'm not exactly sure i would definitely like to do more of these videos let me know what you guys thought of it so did you like your lesson today yeah which part did you like the most about your math lesson
Oh, that book? Okay. But which part, which, what you did today? Did you like going down the slide? With your, yeah? Okay, she's camera shy, so. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.